Hello my gorgeous Leo, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling absolutely magnificent. Leo, let's jump straight in. Let's get straight into it. We'll dive in head first and let's talk about what you do not know yet, but you will soon know within this reading in regard to your personal romantic love life. So without further ado, let's do a good shuffle and let's jump straight in. I'll be using three different decks and I want to see what is happening. Is there anyone coming or is there any um, changes coming up in your love life? Anything that you do not know yet, but you will soon know. Leo, I do encourage you to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. That way you never ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every single Tuesday. It is already the 2nd of July. 2024 we are now looking forward to the second half of this year oh okay here we go for my beautiful leo there will also be um this saturday i will personally be doing this saturday at 12 p.m your weekend bonus love tarot reading and it will be time stamped and we'll see when anything else that comes up for you over the next few days and for anyone that would like a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with Gigi, um, I'm closed for personal readings, but Gigi is actually still doing one-on-one -on -one personal readings um, anywhere from love, money, career, anything else in between. If you do wish to book a session with Gigi, all that information is in the description box below. And of course, also um, all the information to our signature online master tarot course and our ebook slash workbook, which is titled Self Love, all heavily, heavily reduced. Do not pay full price. All that information, again, is in the description box below. Here we go. Two more. Last one. Here we go. For my beautiful Leo, bottom of the deck, what do we have? Is a message coming your way that you do not see yet? Although I'm hearing that some of you are kind of anticipating. Maybe someone's been dropping you little hints, but. That's the surprise card. It is the Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Always bear in mind your person can be any gender, any age, any star sign. But this is actually really beautiful because even though it is a page and the messages are small, any offers are small, it is coming from the heart. So there might be an apology. Um, it actually does represent also a budding romance. So whoever is messaging you, they just want to, even if they have to start small, they want something big with you. This is beautiful love messages backed by love fueled by emotions oh what happened i was gonna say is this someone new but no no leo you know who this person is because something ended here between the both of you that was very stressful ten of wands is a sagittarius energy i don't know why i feel like this person has a lot of guilt on their shoulders because every single one that is breaking this person's back, it does represent a challenge, a lesson, a loss, an experience about you that they have learned from. So what happened? Let's see. Okay. Oh, they want to heal this. We have temperance, Sagittarius energy, peace, balance, harmony, being patient with you. Let it come, let it flow. They want the 10 of cups with you. Pisces energy, that's a reunion card. It is all about commitment, engagement, marriage, the happily ever after. But this is what happened. The Three of Swords, Libra energy. This is heartbreak. Many of you might have iced this person out after they hurt you. Very literally, of course, this can be infidelity. But that's not going to be for everyone. This literally could be an intrusion of maybe the ex, or maybe it was distance, or something like a really bad habit, or family, for example, friends. Um, but either way, this is heartbreak. And your person here is just crying on their own. That's why lesson learned. Because I'm seeing a message. Because this person is way too stressed about how things ended. They're not happy. They want to heal things. They want you back. But they need to heal. This is like healing the heart. Let's split the deck. Oh, they'll be reaching out to you. Ten of Wands. Sorry, Two of Wands. I was looking at the Ten. We've got the Two of Wands, Aries energy. So your person's at a crossroads. It's like if I go this way, I'm going toward Leah. But if I go this way... I'm not going toward Leo, but I'll always be wondering what if. So pretty soon, Leo, what you don't see coming, but now you do, is that you will need to make a, mess, uh, a decision, such as do I want to meet them in the middle? And what about this message? Do I even want to accept their apology? Ooh, so you've got choices coming up just like this person. So with that three of swords, Leo, exactly what did this person do to you? 
because this is this is not easy but they would they want to replace it with the major arcana of temperance ten of cups wow that, that's a lot of stress i don't think things ended very good between the both of you mm, yeah i feel like if they approached you sooner it probably would work against them because maybe the emotions and the memories of what happened is probably a bit too raw so let's see mm, yeah lesson learned you've got to be honest with leo so the seven of swords aquarius energy really it, it can be all about lying cheating stealing you know just not being honest with you and trying to get away with something behind your back and in turn yes you're very disappointed in this person very deflated right heartbroken but they're heart heartbroken as well in fact your person may have been lying to themselves for a very long time i'm fine without leo i don't need leo it's like who are you trying to convince because clearly it's not working the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy for some of you the first message i got straight away was that perhaps this person may have had a third party whether you are aware of it or not there were still some lies there I feel like this person wanted their cake and they wanted to eat it as well. You know, it's like, I want everything, but I want it at the same time, which is actually impossible. Each in its own perfect time slot in divine timing. I do feel this person does want to commit to you, but I'm wondering, I hope that they don't have a third party still. Okay, they could be divorced or separated because, you know, the very typical traits of the Queen of Swords can be widowed, separated, divorced here. Um, but that's the thing we've got this particular queen looking to the past they're wielding that sword up open honest communication so this is definitely someone you have history with or legit, legit it could be an ex right um but they do want to talk to you though they absolutely want to talk to you i feel like someone iced each other out uh, whether it was you leo or it feels like that they iced you out they want to talk to you about that they want to talk to you about the lies you don't have to talk to this person if you don't want to but this is everything that they're planning Ooh. Look what they look at this regret. This illustration speaks volumes. The five of cups is a Scorpio energy, and it's all about emotional regret, feeling embarrassed, guilty, ashamed, mourning, literally mourning over love lost, the death of this relationship. They could be over drinking here just to kind of mellow out. Look at this. Look how your person is. Their mental state is the nine of swords, Gemini energy. Clearly, they're not sleeping. They're clutching that pillow. We can actually literally see the moon, like the moon beam, rays of the moon. Is it rays or moon beam? It's like covering your person's face. So they could be not sleeping, have insomnia. Um, this card is highly linked to that kind of that depression, right? Feeling I'm alone, but I'm also lonely. I'm nervous. I'm anxious. I'm afraid. And the key words for this card is guilt seeks punishment. So indeed, your person could be berating themselves, really treating themselves poorly and over drinking because they still cannot believe what they did and who they let get away, which is you, which is why there's a desperation that they would like to talk to you about all the wrongdoings that they have done. Yeah, they got to feel the fear and do it anyway. We've got the hanged man or the hanging man, Pisces energy. So during this period of separation where your person has been kind of mentally and emotionally torturing themselves, it has allowed them to see things from different angles, a different perspective or better yet in a new light. I do feel that how this person has comported themselves, things have been suspended in the air because this outcome is neither positive or negative it's kind of like a gray area because this is the only energy in the entire deck where something is suspended in the air and it's really only going to move forward if this person reaches out to you first which we did see that they will with a page of cups but of course more importantly will leo meet them in the middle so this is a very big energy that your person needs to feel the fear and do it anyway have a personal sacrifice of cutting themselves free but I also need to be very patient with you. I mean, there's been a lot of damage here. I can see it. I feel like you shouldered perhaps a lot of their stress, a lot of their problems. Three. Two. It's showing me the initial P for like Peter. Last one. That's probably for one person um, watching this. But I do. They're very general messages, but I still have to express them. Three. Two last one what do we have that came over king of cups scorpio pisces cancer with the seven of wands that is you wow that's leo energy i feel like this person realizes that for you to accept this little cup here um 
they're pretty much going to have to go above and beyond to win you back. Even if they feel outnumbered here, um, they're really going to have to go above and beyond and do whatever it takes here to win you back because a lot of damage I can see, it, it has occurred. All right, bottom of the deck, what else do we not know? Ace of Cups, the card of true love representing one month. This may be the platform when things start to pick up. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The card of true love, of being in love, of falling in love all over again. That cup though, they need to fill that cup up because that only contains your heart, your love, your emotions, your adoration here. Clearly they want a brand new start with you. With you, there you go. The strength card is Leo Energy. There you are again. With the Wheel of Fortune, we've got Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo energy. So the Wheel of Fortune is connected to your timeline, to your destiny, to divine timing, but also for your person. And it's all about having a brand new chance. Get that wheel turning once more. We've also got you. There's the King of Wands, regardless of your gender, is Leo energy, and the King of Swords air signs so Aquarius Libra Gemini so we've got the Queen and the King of Swords absolutely this one conversation might change things up mm. split the deck we've got the star Aquarius energy there's that big star there that's the North Star of miracle hope faith renewal absolutely this person is seeing you as the one as their star right but this is wishes being granted and not just that all that water there is quite healing it washes away all the past pain of course, the real question, Leo, is this sounds absolutely beautiful, right? But where do you stand in this equation? Because now we're kind of seeing stuff that you don't know about, but now you do. But how do you kind of feel if they were to message you? And, you know, that cup is representative of an offer. Can we start again? Let's talk about that seven of swords. This is their cross to bear. Now they've lesson learned. Don't lie and don't treat Leo bad. We've got the Ten of Wands twice. So there is a lot of stress, a lot of burdens that is weighing heavily on your person's shoulder. And for me, it is guilt because that's a very big card of guilt. Guilt seeks punishment. But lesson learned, right? They want to drop those wands. The King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords again. What are the chances? There's going to be a very big long conversation between the both of you about commitment, about moving forward, but more importantly about what happened. I see a lot of you, Leo, want to be a little bit emotionally disconnected, not involve your emotions. I see that you're going to speak facts, but so does your person. It's going to be, I'm seeing it's a, it's a big, like the mother of all conversations, basically. The Queen of Swords, again, brings the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> Look at that greedy person refusing to let go of those pentacles. That is Capricorn energy. And the Fours are all about planning, isn't it? But they're holding on to those pentacles so tightly. And I do feel that your person may reveal to you that they actually never forgot about you. They never actually truly let you go. And now, now is the time to confess. It's the time to divulge and really come forward and talk. Wow, this is interesting. I feel like they may also anticipate that you may be a bit closed off here as well. It may take time. That's why they're going to have to be patient for you to open up to this person, to them. Now, we clearly we see their mourning over that five of cups. And they want the magician, Gemini, Virgo energy, the master manifester. So yes, even with the star, we know that they're praying harder. They're manifesting harder. They're being more aware, more intentional, more mindful. And now it's like your person is saying, I've learned my lesson. And now I've got all the tools on the table, perhaps to have a new chance with Leo. What if? And I feel like they're regretting if there was any lies and manipulation in the past. This is really catching up to them. I feel like it's almost like, why on earth did I do this? Was I hypnotized? What on earth was I, was I thinking? The Nine of Swords brings the Fool. So this is like a double-edged sword, isn't it? Aries energy. So again, regret that they were so impulsive, isn't it? Your person may have learned a very harsh, deep lesson here that they can carry on into the future is look before you leap. Before you talk, before you walk away, any actions, think about it first. Because now I told you it's catching up to them. But what they wish to have is a new chance with you. They're going to bite the bullet because this is all representative of new beginnings. Having a new chance, even if this person is far away. Oh, well. The hanged man, please. Yeah, look, it brings judgment. Scorpio energy, look at that. You know, Scorpio has a very big reputation that if it makes... 
an appearance that things are going to speed up a lot more faster because not only are you ready Leo but so is this person they do want to redeem themselves they had the aha moment a spiritual awakening wow they want to bring this back to life but they're not sure if you want to more please yeah they will there yeah, we got the emperor there the king of all kings aries energy they, they i think they're here they might make some pretty big bold strategic pre-planned moves towards you towards you we have the world we've got taurus we've got you there you are we've got leo aquarius and scorpio energy even if they're at a distance they want to make this work close the chapter right to the past but open it up again last one leave the past behind pisces energy leave the past behind i'm curious yeah, we have the ace of pentacles as well yeah leave the past behind i mean it's easy it's easier i suppose said than done but uh leo i think you're, you're probably going to need a bit more convincing right wow all right let's get some messages here from your person what's going on on their side please that one right there I'm very picky which ones i do get all oh, these two see that thank you hmm what do we have here um bottom of the deck we've got boss daddy so really i don't really focus too much on what the subtext says it says stable rich business owner ceo um for me this is like a king energy or it could even be like the um the emperor energy they want to kind of oh it's already splitting oh they're creeping on you so they could be kind of yeah you know low-key maybe stalking you um seeing you know what are you doing they're trying to appear unbothered and unfazed but that person doesn't look unfazed they're deep in thought here about you main messages please and the energies from your person is I knew it looking you up low keys you know um creeping on you researching you studying you getting more info is leo single you know is leo doing this uh, what's going on with leo might be some legal issues on their end this might be new information to you maybe you know this court judges immigration lawyers it could also be separation divorce here interesting what else please didn't i just say that they're appearing unfazed and unbothered you know why i'm going to tell you why i feel it's because when they approach you they don't want to look desperate they want to appear cool calm and collected not desperate and needy when all this time they've been looking you up they've been stalking you low key right i knew it inside scoop again look at that inside scoop a closer look nosy up in your business i when i say up in your business it's not even like in a bad way i just feel here that they're really kind of keeping tabs on you they could even be asking around anyone that may even remotely know you karmic friends look at this so there is regret over being impulsive over someone they can't fully trust tension secret competition keeping friends closer and the enemies um, closer we've got karmic friends here so for some of you that third party it could be someone here that even your person is acknowledging i cannot trust them that is good because now they're fully aware and that's what the judgment is judgment is having that epiphany like full awareness of the situation but they're haunted i knew it look at this by memories flash, flashbacks trauma side effects they're really reminiscing of the past what have i done i mean nine of swords and we've got the haunted card yeah absolutely they're ruminating they're completely berating themselves over the way that they did not comport themselves correctly for you leo there's a lot here that you know maybe new new information or maybe you know this um, and it could be just be really solidifying cementing these current energies but just so you know expect that page of cups energy and message that comes out of the blue and yes it's like small you know messages small offers but eventually they want you hopefully in due time to accept this ace of cups the card of true love for a second chance take all the time you need leo because um even though your person's acknowledging the error of their ways and any third party was their fault it is their job now to work for it and they will but remember that one conversation here will change everything it's very important here i can see it we're exchanging you know information we're talking but we're going to clarity love that leo thank you for joining me i will see you this saturday for your bonus weekend love tarot reading take care leo bye